Hey friends, welcome back to another vlog and welcome to Vlogtober day number one. If you watched my last video, I said I was going to have a fun little announcement in my next video and as you saw by the thumbnail, today is Vlogtober day number one. I am going to be doing Vlogtober for the first time ever. I have done uh, the 12 days of Chris, uh, Vlogmas for the last couple years and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It's so much fun. And so I really thought about it this year for a while, for weeks now, and I decided I'm going to do Vlogtober this year. So I'm going to tell you what my schedule will be like. I'm not going to actually vlog every single day, but I will be. Today is October 1st when you're seeing this video. So I will be uh, posting obviously today, and then I will not post over the weekends in October, but I'll be posting Monday through Friday. So my next video will come up on Monday the 4th and Monday through Friday. So it will go all the way through October 29th, and then I'll you know, after that I'll resume my regularly scheduled, hopefully three days a week, three day a week vlogs. So I hope that you're excited. I think it's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun things coming up in October. So I thought that why not? I love, you know, you know me and I vlog because I love to look back at the memories. I love to capture, you know, the simple things in life and also the exciting things that are happening. And it's just a lot of fun to share it and bring you guys along and hopefully encourage you, inspire you, whatever. And you all are my friends, so I thought this would be a really fun thing to do. So I hope that you're excited and that you're gonna watch and that you're gonna um, be excited about, you know, Monday through Friday looking for vlogs. If you're a vlogger, if you're a vlogger that, you know, YouTuber, you know the work that goes into it. So it's definitely gonna be a hectic month, but I, I'm, I'm ready, I'm prepared, I'm ready. I've thought about it, I've prayed about it. I'm happy. I'm ready. So <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Today is Sunday. For me, it is actually September 26th, I believe. 26th. Yes. And we're about to head to church. So this will be my first day of October. And, um, and you know, it's just a regular old Sunday. We have had such a busy week. I cannot even tell you. We moved Madison into her new apartment. If you've watched my moving vlogs, we got her all moved in last night. I was a little emotional last night. Definitely have my moments. I'm feeling better today. Um, and we're going to head to church. And then after that, I know Marion's going to do some yard work. Jackson and Marion, if Jackson's feeling better, he's had a bad cold and isn't feeling the best, but I have been pumping in the vitamin C and I'm hoping he can help him and maybe drain the pool today. They're going to cut the grass, drain the pool. I'm going to go grocery shopping and give you a grocery haul and a meal plan. And then, uh, you know, I have to do laundry. My house has really suffered because I have been so busy. Like I have had dishes in the sink for days and it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't do that normally, but yeah. So I'm going to do that. I've got laundry, mountains of laundry. I'm still washing some of Madison's laundry. And as I find it, I will return it to her. But, you know, pretty soon I'm just going to have the three of us to do laundry for. It's just so weird. It's all so weird. Grocery shopping, meal planning. It's like just Marion, me and Jackson. It's just crazy. So if you're new here and you don't know my daughter, Madison just moved out. She was our third to move out. We have one left at home and it's going to be a change for all of us, but we're going to do it. So I got to get going. It's time for church. I'm actually running late. So got to go to church. from church and lunch we went to Sam's to eat lunch it's super cheap if you've never eaten lunch at Sam's it was like 10 bucks for our whole meal but I was gonna walk around Sam's and like shop but I just decided at the last minute I wasn't gonna do that I don't know sometimes shopping is just easier when it's just me well always it's easier when it's just me but also I don't know I just couldn't think of anything that I had to have there so I'm gonna change real quick or at least change change out of my jeans and then I'm um, gonna head over to Walmart because it's only 120 and I want to not be out super late because I have so much I need to do here like I really need to focus on the house today so because I have neglected it so badly the last week so oh I'm sorry I forgot about you I forgot about you I see you my baby girl I see you so I need to um there will be cleaning motivation in this video I need to do the dishes I need to do the laundry I need to sweep I need to mop I need to do all the things.
I went to Walmart and they were did pretty good this time. They had most everything I needed, but there is a couple things I had to get or that I need to get here at Kroger. So I'm gonna run in here and then I'll be home to give you my grocery haul. All right, I am home. I got the, well, Marion and Jackson brought the groceries in. It's just, everything is kind of a disaster. Marion was mowing the grass, but are you coming out here? Jackson's blowing his nose. He was mowing the grass, but um, he's got to move our old van. We're going to be getting rid of it, and it's like he has to charge it up so he can move it. So he needed the car, and long story. But it's a sad day because he is draining the pool, and that means summer's officially, officially over. You need to get down before you break something. What, Belle Belle? <laughs> I guess the last couple of days he's kind of let it go. <laughs> Look at the leaves. This is just from a couple of days. But you know, this time of year, it's like fighting a losing battle. So, anyway, that is being drained. So, this tree right here, if you follow me on Instagram a while back, I said we were going to have to have this tree cut down. And we do have a date um, that they're going to come cut it down. It's just dangerously tall and it's in it's like in two pieces and they said this one is dangerous like it could fall on our neighbor's house so it's gonna have to go and it's really sad I love this tree it's kind of like a little like I don't know I don't know if I want to turn the air on or leave the windows and doors open give them their cookies right now I'm gonna unpack all these groceries So I'm going to give you a grocery haul and a meal plan. I did get most everything at Walmart. There was a few things I had to pick up at Kroger. I always like their produce a little bit more. So the things I couldn't get at Walmart, I got there. So I guess I will start over here. I got some mini, let me turn the slide on, mini pretzel twists. These are really good dipped in peanut butter and jelly. I don't know. I just like them. That's like something I crave. I got two of these mesquite barbecue kettle chips. We always get those some bread this is my favorite bread some of these Eglin's best eggs I'm going to be making my breakfast burritos again I always keep those frozen for during the week quick breakfast I got corn chips because I'll be making some chili and I thought these would be good with it and then Jackson wanted some of these I cannot tell you how many things I looked at that I wanted to get and I would have got excuse you Jackson <laughs> If Madison was living here, it's definitely going to be an adjustment, the things I, I didn't buy because she's not here. But she loved these. But I asked Jackson if he wanted some, and he said yes. So those are just good to have in the freezer. She used to always have these with bacon. They were her favorite, turkey bacon. Um, I got some tostada shells because I'm going to be making tostadas. I love them. I got these. Jackson loves these chips, and they're like $3 a bag, so I hardly ever buy them. But, you know, when he's just the only kid living in the house... <laughs> I bought a couple of them. He takes those for his chips, but they're kettle corn, so they're, no, they're kind of sweet. I got spaghetti because we're going to have spaghetti one night. Um, this kind of tells you what we're having for dinner right here. We're having chili one night. Uh, this is for, I'm going to make taco soup or taco stew in the crock pot. I have shared it, but it's been years, so I'll probably share that recipe. Well, I'll be doing Vlogtober, so most likely most or all of these recipes will be shown. This is for um, another recipe, just a super simple recipe my mom used to make when we were kids, so I'm going to make that. I haven't made it in forever. And then I got some taco seasoning. I got this for Jackson because he loves rice aroni, and so I thought I could try this, cut up chicken and put it in it. He'll like that. Gotta let Ollie out. Bell Bell! Bell Bell! Bell Bell! No, no. Be quiet. 
our neighbors are moving out so ah, such a little stinker why are you being a stinker I got some of these batter mix seasoned crinkle fries I'm gonna be making um, these chili lime burgers I got at Trader Joe's with these hopefully that's good I got these toasty crackers Jackson and Marion both like those for snacking they had Jackson's favorite drink pouches so I saw Tiffany I love her grocery hauls from our small town life. She bought this cinnamon toast crunch oatmeal a while back for her daughter. And I've been looking for it and I could not find it, but I finally found it today. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I mean, and here goes the dogs. Sorry, I had to let them in and scratch that. I know I will love it. I know I will love it. I just, um, I don't normally eat like sugary kind of things for breakfast. So it has a little bit more sugar than I normally eat, but you know, every, it's still oatmeal. So... I'm gonna try it. I thought it looked delicious. Um, I got some, sorry for the barking, always. Got some crunchy raisin bran from Marion and some honey nut Cheerios for Jackson. I got these really for me, but I think Jackson loves them too. The extra toasty cheeses, they are so, so good. When I'm really hungry in the afternoon, I need things that I can grab quickly. And I got also some of these honey roasted cashews and you know so i don't grab something sugary or you know i just need something to tide me over till dinner so that's good that's when i need to snack on something i got the cherry fruit and grain cereal bars for marion he's trying to go a little a little healthier on these snacks for him this week you know or these two weeks i also got him these roasted and salted shelled pistachios so good then i got a thing of breadsticks for our spaghetti a couple ice drinks jackson already took one got a lot of cans Claire's on the bag, like usual. I got a lot of cans this week. Some weeks I get no cans, Harley, and then sometimes it's a ton. But I got two of these tri-color be tri beans. I love these for chili, so I got two cans of those. And then I got a black bean for my taco soup. And then I think this is also for it. And also, gotta have ranch-style beans. I grew up in Texas eating these. They are the best beans, in my opinion, ever. I love, love, love those. Um, and I had to go to Kroger. Walmart didn't have them, so I had to go to Kroger to get that. Uh, I got some petite diced tomatoes. I got the Italian style. A couple of these wild caught tuna for Marion. This also goes in my taco stew. Oh man, talking about it makes me excited. I can't wait to eat that. I got the honey roasted cashews, cream of mushroom for a recipe, some diced roasted, these are the roasted garlic flavor. I needed two different diced tomatoes. Um, then I got, I've been wanting to try some creamy or some almond butter. I've had it before, but I haven't had it in forever. And I thought that'd be so good with my strawberry jelly or my peach jelly. Mm, I love peanut butter and jelly in case you didn't know. It's like my guilty pleasure. I got a couple of these. This is my favorite tomato sauce, the roasted garlic. That's for my chili. This is my coconut cream so I can make some more carrot cake cupcakes. Some of y'all asked me about it and it's kind of expensive. It's like $3.50 for this can and you only use a little bit of it, but it's really good. It smells really good. It just it is, I don't know, it's something about it. It's, it's just delicious. So this is what you have to use and you can find it in like the Asian section at Walmart and also at Kroger. I looked there to see if it was any cheaper, but it's actually more expensive at Kroger. So $3.50 at Walmart or $3.48 or something. Then I got some more. I love ragu, but I'm trying this Mama's Special Garden Sauce. It's chunky. We'll see. I think I've had it for a couple times, but I thought I'd try something a little different. Then I got a watermelon. Jackson uh, and Marion both love watermelon. That's one fruit I can guarantee they will both eat and love. Um, I got some milk, some heavy cream, my favorite Parmesan. I like to put this on my spaghetti. It's just so good. I'm kind of, that's my new favorite. <laughs> and then I love the sugar-free Cool Whip. I keep it frozen and put it on my apple crisp or it's almost like sugar-free ice cream when it's really hard. It's so good on so many things. I got a pineapple because fresh pineapple is my favorite food in the world. I got a bell pepper. They didn't have any of these at Walmart. Well, they did, but they looked really bad and sad and tiny. So I got an orange one when I was there and then I saw green ones at Kroger. So I'm just going to use them both. They're going to go in my chili. So that's fine. I got some cheese and some turkey bacon, which Walmart was completely out of turkey bacon. Got that at Kroger. Got some ground beef. I do have a bunch of chicken in my freezer, like a whole bunch. And mostly I cook with chicken, but I just needed these two. I got some carrots, an onion, a big old head of broccoli, and a bag of potatoes. Then I got, I like to fill up my bins. I've got cat 
and dog food and paper towels and there's a cat and a dog watching me <laughs> and then the last couple things for like since I was a teenager I've been using St. Ives face face moisturizer and I don't know I've heard people say that it's not good but literally I've used it half my life and people tell me all the time that my skin looks good so I like it but I could not find it anywhere and you know they're rearranging Walmart so I, who knows where it is but I looked and looked and looked and I just decided on this just Olay I don't know we'll see my mom used to love oil of Olay it was her favorite this was only like six bucks too it seems like it should have been way more but I'm gonna try it because mine was completely out I got some baggies some grape drinks Jackson loves these the hundred percent grape juice so those can be for his school lunches I got some more of these sugar-free chocolate chip cookies um, I usually only eat about three or four of them before they go bad but they're really good and a nice treat in the evenings and then I bought one of these wax warmers I have one in my living room but I've been wanting one for my kitchen also and this one it was either this one or that like farmhouse barn and I just decided on this one because it's so beautiful and um, when it's lit up it'll be so pretty so that'll go in my kitchen and then I wanted a few fall scents so I got the farmhouse pumpkin patch I love baking bake scents bakery scents this one was good and then the cinnamon buns it, it's not my favorite but it was better than a lot of them so hopefully when it's burning it'll smell even better and then this is just one of the Walmart ones it's the crispy treats these are like 93 cents it smells really sweet and those are just my favorite scents so that is my grocery haul a little over a little over 200 and I'm gonna get out my meal plan for you so I can I think I told you most everything I'm making but let me get my glasses and I'll tell you okay so let's see the things I didn't tell you yet so we're gonna have nachos one night that's carried over from last week because like I said I, we um, were moving Madison so we ate out more than we should have this last week a couple times so I still have a few meals left over so nachos and I just get um, like the scoops or the bowls uh, tortilla chips and I put black beans Cheese, shredded cheese and taco meat on it and then sometimes I'll put salsa or tomatoes on top just super easy but really good then we're gonna have the chili lime chicken burgers and fries breakfast burritos pancakes whatever breakfast for dinner and I'll make my burritos that night and freeze them we'll have barbecue chicken croissants which is Jackson's favorite but I like to put it on tostadas with Monterey Jack cheese just barbecue barbecue chicken chopped up with Monterey Jack cheese it's really good on the tostada um, spaghetti and garlic bread and then that recipe I was telling you that my mom used to make when I was a kid it's just a gravy over potatoes and it's delicious and we'll have like roasted roasted vegetables and we'll have then one night we'll have chili and then I want to make potato soup because Patrick likes to eat over here and Patrick likes it but none of them like it no one else likes it so I can make it and Patrick will help me eat it so it's so good I've made that it's been years too I always make it this time of year I have a rest a uh, video where I did like five different fall soups and the taco soup and that was on that I'll try and remember to link that down below if not just search my recipe playlist but the potato soup I make is I can't tell you so good and nobody wants to eat it so Patrick will help me and then I'll obviously the taco stew and then we'll probably eat out a few nights I mean I don't know and leftovers like tonight it's like already five o'clock almost and I don't know I'm still full from lunch I always say this on Sundays every I'm just always full so I'll probably be hungry in about an hour after I get everything put up but I got to get my kitchen clean you can hear the laundry is going about something in the dryer and something in the washer ready to go back over I'm gonna go uh, Jax is gonna clean his room because it's a disaster and we need to get it ready for the week and uh, I think he's got some homework too I need to like I really need to uh, vacuum and mop but I'm not sure how much energy I'm gonna have today so I've learned that I can't do as much as I used to could, used to be able to when I do those like whole house clean with me you know and they're like four or five hours like my body is so sore I'm not 30 years old anymore so I might have to do it over a few days, but we'll see. We'll get it done.
Hey, dude. Water's in it. I know, that's what I'm... Hey, come here. Come on. Come on, sweet boy. You can't do that. I'm going to open this now. I'll link this down below if you're interested in it. They have so many different ones. And, yeah, this is just the one I liked because I like the green, you know, or the teal color. And I really wanted something in my kitchen. I like the one in my living room, but it's also kind of old and like wax has spilled inside of it. And I can't get it out. And anyway, this one is just so pretty. So it's got the light inside that warms, warms it. So cute. I think I'm going to put farmhouse pumpkin patch in. good night that is all the cleaning I'm gonna get done today I did not vacuum but you see my sweet Claire is sleeping on my chair and I don't want to disturb her so I can do that another time and I also did not mop the floors but I'm kind of tired so I think it's like 6 30 and it's just been a long day so I hope that this video gave you some motivation if you're lacking that this will come up on a Friday so Hopefully, it'll give you the motivation you need. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you're excited about Vlogtober. I am excited. I'm excited to uh, vlog all month. We have a lot of things going on. Definitely a lot of things going on in October. It's going to be busy. So, 
you'll be here for it. So anyway, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you want to hang out with me all of October. <laughs> Here's Ollie. Always, always on my lap. Love you guys, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Bye.